Okay? So this one you have r squared minus 8r plus 16 equal to 0. And for this, actually, 4 times 4 is 16, and 4 plus 4 is 8, so you can factor the problem is that you get 4 for both cases and you, you, it means that you only get a single solution with multiplicity 2. In that case, we learned that your general solution is, uh, you take c1 e to the 4x as before, but because writing another e to the 4x doesn't give you a linearly independent solution, what you do is, for the second one, you multiply by x. And just, people found out that if you do that, you, you do have another solution to the original differential equation when you have multiplicity too. OK, so uh, if, if you trust the general algorithm, then this is the solution. And then we can now plug in 0, y of 0 is c1 times e to the 0th power of c2 times 0 times e to the 0th power. So that's just c1 itself. But what is y of 0? 2. 2. So we have that c1 has to be 2. But just having c1 equals to 2 will only satisfy the first condition. We still need to make sure that it satisfies the second condition. So you have to differentiate and plug in 0, which means you have to take this thing you have, c1 e to the 4x plus c2 times x e to the 4x prime, and then you plug in 0. Now, differentiating this will bring down the 4, so you're going to have 4 c1 e to the 4x. However, differentiating this, because it's a function of x times another function of x, you have to use the product rule. So when you differentiate the second one first, then you get 4c2x e to the 4x. But then when you differentiate x, the first function, you get c2e to the 4x. And only after that, you have to plug in x equal to 0. Plugging in x equal to 0 gives you 4c1. Plugging 0 here doesn't give you anything, because 0 is multiplied, disappears. And when you plug in 0 here, you get c2. Now, what is this supposed to be? It has to equal to 0. So this has to equal to 0. So that means c2 is negative 4c1. And because c1, we already know that it's 2, it's negative 4 times 2, which is negative 8. So we did get c1 as c2. And then you have to plug that back in, in here. So you get y equals to 2 times e to the 4x, and then minus 8 e to the, no, sorry, x times e to the 4x. Okay?